So now, hello everyone. I have another project. This is my yasmin plant. I like to do a nice wall here around and cover it up with mosaic. So let's show you how I'm doing this wall and how long it will take, but it will take a bit long. So I will do it in quick motion so you can see everything. Okay, today is a very, very hot day and I prepare with what I had at home for this, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a bench, you call it maybe bench, I say it wall, doesn't matter. And I have everything, the cement, sand and latex, I will mix it and put it in and also some of those bricks. So let's do that now. So the next step, take off everything. Just follow me and you will see. I'm sure I will find some holes, but it doesn't matter, I can fix everything. So I take this off, this. Now. Okay, that must be easier. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. So the next, the next step, actually, I don't know exactly what I want to do. I have to improvise. I have to think like always, but I think I will cover it up all with a nice mosaic. I will first cover up all the holes with glue or with something else. I have to think about it or ask someone. And yes, let's see. I don't know yet. We'll see. Those ones, you see, it's like that. You can, it's for a round bench, okay? This is for inside. I made another one, some other one, because it's a bit big for outside, okay? This is with fiberglass. Wait, sorry. This is with fiberglass, adhesive cement, and latex without water okay that's why it is so flexible and it's actually 
very nice and I will use it also because I did something in the garden that's why I was sweating and yes so here I want to show you one that is I didn't took it off because it's really sticky so the best thing actually is if you just show you quick if you turn it around like this okay and then like that et voilà so now that i showed you how i did my bench with concrete and also how i did this very flexible base i started to do this mosaic and the first thing is i had some ceramic pieces that i did i have a kiln also for that but you can go do a course ceramic course so you can do your own pieces or there is also special clay that you don't need a kiln so just do your research and then you can do your own pieces too i just love to mix materials and uh, yes yeah, so i can choose the colors because here you don't find all the colors here very very difficult <laughs> i have to order them in spain so yeah it's very difficult you find gray gray or beige or white but really colors not really that's why i started to do the ceramic first of all i put the ceramic pieces in place glue them here I didn't because it's two pieces it will be also four pieces here another small one and behind I have the other one that I did already so and now that I glued big pieces that I wanted in place I will put some small ones could it put it just in place I will not glue it until I have enough pieces and yes and I will do also the sand here and afterwards I can bring it in my mom, mom's bedroom. I can work over there. Now I'm not there, <laughs> but I'm close in her apartment so she can hear me too if she wants something. So now it's time to installate a part of my mosaic. I did a mistake. <laughs> I didn't realize this part here. So I have to put it a bit more higher. Okay. And um, let's see. Let's see how I can do that. It's a bit difficult, I think. I think that always, anyway. In the end, I. I realized that it was not so difficult, so I have to do the glue before it's getting too sunny. It is really hot. I'm doing now the glue and then we come back.
So now I did my mosaic this part, this part, and here, but here I'm not finished yet. But I can start to put here some cement. Before I do it, I will wet it. Then I put a bit of cement and I put also some fiberglass, some rest of my fiberglass here around, and then again cement and so it's the same height. And afterwards, uh, I will cover it up with uh, mosaic again. <laughs> 